everyone, my name is Raquel Victor. I'm a 4-H agent at the Rutherford County Extension Office in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And today, we're gonna to be learning how to make trail mix apple snacks. In the summer, kids are always looking for things to do. And in times like these, especially, kids are looking for things to do inside. I love when kids spend time in the kitchen, teaching them all those life skills, and doing fun things with their parents. This is a great activity to do with your kids, make this by yourself, just something fun to do in the kitchen. So again, today we're gonna to be making trail mix apple snacks. Let me tell you the things that you're gonna need first. First thing you need is an apple. I bought a Honeycrisp. You can do Golden Delicious, Red Delicious, any apple you want would be great. But I like the Honeycrisp just for the crispiness of it and it's got the little bit of sweetness that I really love. You're also gonna need lemon juice or fresh lemon. You're gonna need some type of spread. You can use peanut butter, creamy peanut butter. If you have a uh, peanut butter allergy, nut allergy, there's some alternatives that I found that I really, really love. You can use almond butter. Again, if you have a nut allergy, we can move on to this one. This is sunflower seed butter called sun butter. Amazing, love this. The last option, if you can't have any of these, is a product called wow butter. It is made with zero peanuts. It's actually made of soybeans. It smells like peanut butter, looks like peanut butter, tastes like peanut butter, but it's actually made of soybeans. Fantastic product called Wild wow Butter. That's an option for your kiddos as well. You will also need some type of um, lollipop sticks or very small skewers. You can get these at any of your local stores. Again, you will need small to medium sized sticks. We also need some dried fruit. Again, whatever dried fruit you want. We've got some craisins, that's a great option. We've got some dried berries and plums. You can use any type again as well. We also have um, a, some chopped up pecans, chopped up nuts, peanuts, whatever you want. Again, if you can't have nuts, that's fine. You don't have to use that. You can use a little bit of granola. But again, we've got some chopped nuts here today. I also found some, you need some chocolate melts. And your chocolate melts today can be any brand. You can use white chocolate melts. You can use milk chocolate melts. Any kind of that chocolate would be great, okay? The items you'll need to make this, you'll need a cutting board, you'll need a knife, um, you'll use a, either a mason jar or some kind of a glass cup. You'll also need a spatula or spoon to stir, a paper towel, and a butter knife. Very simple ingredients, very simple items that you'll need. Again, just trying to make something fun for the kids to do at home. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your apple and you're gonna cut it into wedges. You can either use an apple slicer, like I did here, or you can cut it the old fashioned way with the knife. Again, you wanna cut it half, half those halves, cut them into wedges and quarters, okay? So I've already done that. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a bowl of water and put the lemon juice in it. Again, you can use fresh lemon juice and squeeze that in, or you can use a lemon juice that you already buy in the container. And the purpose of the lemon juice in the, water, in the water is to keep the apples from turning brown. So again, in a bowl, I've got the water and the lemon juice, and I'm gonna put my apple wedges in the bowl and just let them soak for a few minutes um, while you're getting your items together. Again, that'll keep them from getting brown. Once they're done soaking for a few minutes, you're gonna take your apples out, just pat them dry gently. Just try to get a little bit of that water off. Okay, just get that water right off there. All right, now comes the fun part. What you're gonna do next, you're gonna take your skewer and I kind of poke it right in the back there, right through the apple, just like that. And I stand it up in my jar. Again, fun things that kids love to do. And again, if you've got little ones, you might wanna supervise them with the skewers, they're pointy on the end. All right, put that right through your apple there. Take this last one, poke that through right there, okay? The next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these apples on a stick and I'm gonna spread peanut butter on there. Again, as we talked about earlier, you can use any of the alternatives. I'll just use creamy peanut butter. And again, the purpose of patting these off is so your peanut butter sticks. You wanna make sure that's really important. So you spread that peanut butter on there. Again, this is really fun. The great thing about being in the kitchen with the kids, the messier the better, I say. Have fun, enjoy it. Cooking isn't always so clinical and clean, it's okay to have fun. If you get a little on your fingers, that's even better. Just have fun with this. So we're gonna spread peanut butter on here. 
and real simple, simple process. You don't need a lot. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I melted my chocolate here. And again, I used white chocolate. And I put those chips in the microwave for about 30 to 45 seconds, depending on your microwave. And you get that melted chocolate there. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apple, well, the apple dipper here, and I'm going to dip it in the chocolate. Just a little bit on both sides. Just going to kind of coat it. Now, if you don't want to use chocolate, you don't like chocolate, you don't want those few extra calories, you don't have to use chocolate. You can just use a peanut butter, and that's perfectly fine. The last step, adding all your fun toppings. Again, you can add craisins, different types of dried fruit. So we're going to go ahead and sprinkle a few of those on. Set those on there. And we're going to put a little bit of some nuts on there as well. It can get a little bit messy and it will harden up. Okay. And you can just set them right on your cutting mat and let those dry. And I'd probably give them 10 or 15 minutes. Again, it gets a little bit messy, so you want to make sure they harden up. You can even set them in the refrigerator for a few minutes, let that chocolate harden up. When you're done, pull them out of the refrigerator or take them off your cutting mat, whichever works for you. Once they're hardened up, just pick those up and eat those. It's fantastic. Again, if you have small kids, keep an eye on if they're biting them. You may want to pull out the stick before they eat that. If you got older kids, they can leave the stick in, whatever works for you. It's a really fun activity to do with your kids. You can change any of the ingredients you want to suit what kind of things that you like. It's always fun to, once you're done decorating them and getting them all ready and they're hardened, you can set them in a jar. Um, if you're having, um, you know, a dinner with your kids and you all want to make this together as dessert, when you're done, put them in a jar. They'll be all decorated. They'll harden up and everybody just can grab a stick and have fun. You can also wrap them um, in a little bit of wrap if you're going to give them as gifts. Lots of fun things that you can do. You can find this recipe and more at our website at rutherford.tennessee.edu. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.